Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a key portion of the autoradiograph from a single locus probe analysis of various DNA samples in a rape investigation is shown in the figure. If you are the DNA analyst, you should conclude that and you can choose one of these answers. Let's take a look at this picture. Here in the middle, we see reference letter. This is DNA, which we load along with our samples and this DNA is pre-cut and we know the sizes of each band here. So we can use this ladder in order to find sizes of the rest bands on our gel. Left to this reference ladder, we see blood samples of the victim, suspect A and suspect B. And on the right side, we see sexual assault evidence and here we see genetic profile of the female and genetic profile of the male. And now let's return to the left. Here is the victim, so female fraction. Let me highlight. So this is going to be genetic profile of the victim. And on the right, we also see genetic profile of the victim. We also see here male portion and it directly corresponds with suspect B genetic profile, but one of the alleles is the same in suspect A. Does it tell us anything? So let me highlight genotype of the suspect A. Does it tell us anything? One of the alleles are of the same size as sexual assault evidence, a male fraction, but another allele is different. But genetic profile have to be identical. It's not like we compare, say, father to son, where only one of the alleles have to be present, or mother to son or daughter to progeny, where only one allele have to be present. Here, the whole genetic profile have to be the same and identical. So now we can say that we can exclude suspect A, but does it prove that suspect B is the source of the genetic material in sexual assault evidence. Actually not. We cannot say with just one locus that this person is a source of this genetic material because not enough power of exclusion. It's just like, for example, when a female would occur someone with blood group O and she also being blood group O that he fathered her child being blood group A. It's not possible. We can exclude such a person. But if she would occur someone else with blood group A that he uh, conceive her child and father her child, it doesn't prove because there are so many people with blood group A. We just cannot exclude this person, but we can exclude person with blood group O. So what you see here is just simplified version of the test kit, which includes 24 loci, not only one loci. Then power of exclusion would be great and we can say that a genetic profile of the person would be whether of the innocent person or of the person who performed assault, sexual assault. So now we can choose the correct answer. It's going to be answer B. Suspect A is excluded as a source of the evidence, but suspect B cannot be excluded. Again, it doesn't prove that he performs a sexual assault. He just cannot be excluded. But person A is excluded. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.